It's off the table. Leaders in Isle of Wight voted no on a proposed juvenile detention center. We're following breaking news at 11 o'clock. Thanks for staying up. I'm Nicole Livis. And I'm David Allen. A lot of neighbors are happy about this one. That vote sealed the fate of the proposed juvie. Robert Boyd starts us off. No. That was the reaction in Isle of Wight after the County Board of Supervisors voted against a juvenile detention center that would have been built near Windsor. Residents now breathing a sigh of relief. I'm very grateful uh, for those supervisors who looked at this from a large perspective, voted for the voice of the people, uh, realized that the community had spoken. Over the past few months, the board has been in support of the detention center by a narrow margin of three to two. But tonight, County Chair William McCarty flipped his vote. He said the detention center would have been a good thing but he just couldn't ignore the hundreds of people showing up at these meetings against it, not to mention the calls and emails. At the end of the day, um, you live here. This is a difficult, difficult thing. McCarty also said he was disappointed with how people in his community acted throughout this process. I've watched men on this committee and this council, this board of supervisors, be subject to personal attacks, all of them. Residents say the 60-bed lockup, housing young men up to 21 years in age, would have brought down property values. Windsor would be tagged as the town of a prison, and we love this little town. I was born and raised here. It's been like this for years and years, and we were so afraid it would change. The Department of Juvenile Justice was also at the meeting. They were disappointed with the decision not to build the detention center, which they say would have brought 240 jobs to the area. We will continue to do all that we can to find the best ways to help young people in our system to find a path to a safe and successful future. Robert, this has been quite the drama for a normally quiet community like Isle of Wight. Yes, it has. The last couple months, according to the county chair, have really been out of control. He said his own kids were even threatened at times. And keep in mind, this is a pastor we're talking about. And he said, you know, even though the issue is over, no doubt some friendships and some bonds in that community may have been altered forever.